Starting with the first feature, we are going to look at placing of a slab at landing. Previously, the slabs were getting placed only on the treads and not on the landing. In this update, the slabs will get placed on both treads and landings. To show that, we will try to place a stair, then we will go to load stair settings. Here comes the dialog from where we will go to treads and change the tread type to slab. Also, we are going to make some changes to the tread part definition so that it gets easily visible. Now we can see that we have placed a stair with a slab at landing. The next feature we are going to look at is specifically for monolithic concrete stairs. To have a look at it, we will select the stair placed in the design model. Then we will go to modify properties, click on the load stair settings. From there we will click on general section and set the end width riser at landings as true. Then we will click on OK and click outside to accept the changes. Now the changes made gets applied and if you look closely on the stairs, you can see risers with the landing. The next feature we are going to look at is monolithic stairs with bottom offset. To better understand this feature, we will go to left view and change the display style to transparent. If you look closely into the stair, you will notice it has been placed on the given floor finish, but ideally it should be connected with the primary slab. For this, we will select the stair, go to modify properties again, go to load stair settings. From the settings dialog, we will go to the riser section. Here we will set the base riser offset as per the thickness of the floor finish. Here we will put the value as 25 as it is the thickness of the floor finish for us. After making changes, you can notice that the stair has been connected to the primary slab. We have seen the bottom offset for monolithic stairs, but for non-monolithic stairs, we have top offsets too. To set the top offsets and bottom offsets, we will again select the stair. Go to Modify Properties, Load Stair Settings. Then we will go to Riser section and we will set the thickness of the base riser offset to 25 as we have set previously. And for top riser offset, we are going to set the value as minus 25. We have used negative value so that the stair can go a little bit down from top and it should touch the top of the primary slab. Now the changes are made and let's zoom into it. We can see that the bottom riser has been connected to the slab and so is the top riser. If you find this video helpful, then please give it a like. Also, please subscribe to the channel to see more videos about Open Buildings Designer. Thank you and see you next time.